Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Huh? Is that on ya? Oh, is that on ya? You are, uh, 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 you be nice. Be nice. Be nice. But now you get a little bit of exercise. I'm gonna show you guys the garden. Get ready to give them a little food. But everything's coming up real good. I did have to take some of them that were pushing through the bottom, like this one here. I had the seeds too deep and it was pushing through the bottom. Hey, child. Bell. What? Stop quit. 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 Leave her be. <laughs> you don't know what to think about that, do you? You don't know what to think about that, do you? Ah! No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. <laughs> Go on, Go on, leave her be, leave her be, leave her be. Go on. <laughs> Bell. Leave on you alone. You silly girl. Leave her be. She's alright. I, I. Going nuts. Now leave her alone. You don't know what to think about that at all, do you? Look at you shaking. Look at you shaking. Why are you shaking? You're shaking like a leaf. It's all right. That's your reptilian sister. Can you say hi, Anya? <laughs> She's going absolutely nuts. Anyway, guys, not sure what we're going to get into today. As you can see, as the morning sun comes through, green beans are loving it. This is all green beans here. And in the back, we've got our zucchini and our, um, yeah, those zucchini and summer squash. And then the peppers way down here are just starting to come up and they usually do take the longest so <laughs> leave her be hey 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 i think i need to separate the kids anyway we'll see you guys outside zip over later i'm out of here what's up folks well you saw the dog and the tortoise in the garden and I had to go to Jack's camera shop I wanted to pick up a an extension for my crazy little camera mount what I mean by extension is is just extra links in it so that it's a little bit more maneuverable out in the shop I, I love this thing. and it, this thing's just about taking the place of my uh, ProMaster tripod. It's a lot easier to just take it, clamp it on something, and go. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and mount it right now to the GoPro Session 4. And it's very easy to hold. It's lightweight. It's, it, I love it. So, anyway, so what's going on here? I always I always get sucked in when I go to Jack's camera shop. I went in there for that. That was all I went in there for. That's it. Just the just the extension pack. Ten dollars. Didn't quite work out that way. <laughs> I have my camera bag with me, which is not actually a camera bag. It's a bag that I have adapted to be a camera bag. Which is this green thing right here and it's just a Eddie Bauer overnight bag and the main issue that I had with it was I mean it's com compartmentalized it's got you know a compartment here side pockets but it's not designed for cameras at all mainly because in the main compartment it's nothing but 
wide open spaces. So, I asked Greg, what do you have in the way of uh, camera bags? Because I want to step up from this so that I can compartmentalize and separate. And he said, well, let's go take a look at the used stuff. I had no idea he has this room with about 60 used camera bags in it. Uh, just about any kind of camera bag you could imagine is in there. And I was looking through them, looking through them, looking through them. There was a, a one that looked like it would have worked really well, had nice Velcro compartments that I could adjust, put where I needed them so that I could get all of my equipment in. And by the way, you know, we're not talking about just a little bit of stuff. We've got all of this plus my battery cables small bits this was something else that I picked up and that's on low let me turn that sucker up for you that is a rechargeable um, by ProMaster it's a rechargeable light that you can mount and it puts off really really nice light <clears throat> well this was originally 30 bucks it was on clearance for 19 so I picked that up too now I'll be able to have this and it's it's actually double the width of the GoPro but the exact same height and it has three quarter twenty mounting points on the bottom of it so I'm going to make a mount that will allow me to mount this right beside the GoPro so I've always got good light. So, And then with it came the charging cord. And I was actually going to go to Best Buy after that and pick up a charging cord exactly like this little short one. Because as you can see here, I've got this style. Lighting isn't great. I've got that style. And that's for the... Hero 3 Plus Silver, but I needed the USB Micro, not the Mini, so that I could charge either of my GoPros using the recharge stick. It's still charging. It's a blinking. But tiny little bits and pieces. Tiny little bits and pieces. Stuff for the GoPro all over everywhere. My Poor old forlorn Sony Handycam. People uh, have talked about the video quality. I've bumped this up to the best quality that it is capable of. And you guys uh, still don't like it. You still say that it's fuzzy. So this one's probably going to go away. I'll well, I'll hang on to it in a pinch in case I need something really quick. Because, I, you know, I mean, I've got 300 plus minutes on the SD card and the battery so I mean you know tractor shows or something like that that way I'm not running the risk of damaging the GoPros or anything but all of this stuff I had jam-packed all of it jam-packed inside of that bag this stuff that's sitting here next to my doggies food bowl was in these outside compartments all over everywhere this little case here has got <clears throat> all of my spare batteries for the GoPros, four spare batteries for the GoPros, tools, spare SD cards, SD card reader, spare battery for the Sony, weights for my Steadicam curve, and stuff like that. I, but just everything was just scattered all over wherever I could put it. I was constantly turning the power button on on this one because it's really sensitive. You just barely bump it and it, it turns on. Um, so I needed some place, you know, some way to compartmentalize that so that it's safe and out of the way and it's not going to turn itself on. So what I end up with, well here's the bag. And this is a camera specific 
bag. This entire gray area here can come out. You can adjust all of these compartments to whatever shape, size, or configuration you want, or leave it out altogether. It even has a spot for me to stick my laptop down in here. It's very well padded, whereas this has no padding at all. Plus it has storage out the rear all over it on both sides both sides it's got real big pockets real big pockets this is a supposedly a water resistant pocket here and then a quick velcro pocket and then another full size pocket here with a bunch of individual slots for what have you and the thing that actually sold me on this was that at first I thought, wow, I mean, I've got to unzip it and unvelcro it in order to open it and close it. No, check this out. That allows me to get right down into that bag. That's all I have to do is that one little zipper. I, I think that's awesome. And it's got more storage over here with another big pocket on the back so insert trolley uh, I'll tell you this is a bag that is no longer available that original re originally retailed uh, for a little over two hundred dollars it is a kata k-a-t-a pr 460 see right here it says kata and this was actually the camera shop owners personal bag and he came out while I was talking to Greg and I was looking at the bags and every time I would touch that one I could see him kind of doing one of these because he was still on the fence about whether he wanted to sell it or not and so you guys know me I'm always one to try to talk a price down and we got to talking about this bag and I was talking to the owner of Jack's and he's like he said, I almost didn't put it out, and I'm almost second-guessing putting it out again, and he had a price of 90 bucks on it, and of course, you got, like I say, you guys know me, I'm, I've got to ask, so I said, well, would you take 75 for it, and he goes, N -n 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 no, he says, if you don't buy it for 90 today, I'm going to have Greg mark it up to... 130 so I grabbed the bag um, I know this isn't really exciting for you guys it has nothing to do with engines but it has everything to do with me bringing you guys videos and being able to do it in a manner that is going to protect my equipment make my equipment easily accessible and store all of my equipment as it grows uh, anybody who has a YouTube channel that is any kind of established um, your equipment just grows and grows and grows and it changes it it morphs into different things and getting the equipment that I've got now has been a process of about just a couple years a couple year process uh, the most recent thing I got was the GoPro that I'm talking to you guys on and since you guys like them so much and this one's pretty much in semi-retirement um, I wanted to get this bag mainly because I do want to get a Hero 5 uh, I've, I've decided that um, my Hero 3 Plus is getting glitchy it's just getting old and tired the Hero 5 has I, I mean it's like carrying around a DSLR it's a it's an awesome camera I've messed with them I've looked at them I like them really well the 4k footage I can directly upstream I mean I could do live streaming with it uh, so that'll be the next major camera purchase and most everything that I do with the videos as far as equipment goes is thanks to you guys from you guys watching I don't even know how much time. Twelve minutes. 
I'm really babbling here, and I know this is going to bore the tears off of a lot of you guys, and I'm sorry, but it, this is kind of important for me to let you guys know how much I appreciate you, um, how much I love all of you, how awesome it is that you guys come to my channel, like my videos, enjoy watching my videos, and I want the content to be as good as it can be, and it, it takes money to do that. Well, just by you coming and watching my videos, smashing that thumbs up like button, posting a comment, I get a little bit of revenue off of the advertisements. Um, I've been hesitating on doing the inline advertisements. Uh, it's a way to increase revenue. I've told you guys before, I'm not in this for the money. The money always gets reinvested right back into the channel. I mean, you guys know that. You guys bought me the hero session that we're talking on. You guys bought me uh, my big red toolbox out in the shop. Uh, you guys have bought me a lot of things directly related to me making these videos. <clears throat> And I thank you very, very, very much. And I know that those in line, you know, while you're watching the video and then it stops and you have to skip through an ad and then it goes back to the video again. Um, it's a little bit of an inconvenience and I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, so, I'm, I, and I've been pressured to do it. I'm like, you know what? Kiss my butt. If I was in this for the money, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it just to provide you guys some good content. So, um, I have babbled along for almost 14 minutes, and I've got three minute intro to put in ahead of this. With, uh, well, you'll see it at the beginning of the video. Uh, at any rate, Miss Bell right now is down here taking a nap. I don't know how well you can see her. Here, let's see how well this light works. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, I think this light's going to work out great. Have you got your chicken? Have you got your chicken? You're knocking on the wall. <laughs> uh, that's her little corner whenever I'm sitting at the desk. She's always right down there. Come here. Come here. All right. That's it. I know this is boring. And if you have already stopped watching, it, it's not going to make any sense for me to say anything about it. But I don't blame you. Um, but for those of you that stuck around to the end, thank you very much. Uh, it's because of you that I do the videos. It's because of you that I keep improving my equipment. I want to step up to 4K capabilities, uh, just like everybody else does. It's going to take me a little bit of time to do it. Those Hero 5s are not cheap. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's it. If you're not already subscribed, please click click subscribe. If you see, I'm never good at doing that. I don't subscribe, like, comment. If you like it, you're 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 gonna hit the like button. If you've got something to say, you're gonna comment. If you're not subscribed, there's a good reason for it. <laughs> All right, that's enough of the babble. That was. Uh, the majority of today because it's now 444 that's it this is your friendly neighborhood zippo i promise you guys i will be on the next one and remember you're the reason i do this catch y'all later zippo i'm out <laughs>